Subhash Chandran, and I'm a product engineer working for memory model team. Um, my whiteboard topic is memory model runtime control. So what is this? Uh, basically, you can control the behavior of any memory model during the simulation using certain global switches, okay, which are called dot Denali RC switches. And these are specified or referenced in a file called dot Denali RC file. So this dot Denali RC file is something that you can have in your working simulating directory. So let me explain to you how you can be using this uh, with the different options that are available to you. So in memory models, if you uh, start any simulation, right, the basic uh, memory content is always x when you start off, right? So if, let's assume you want to initialize this value. Uh, so you could use initial memory value is the dot Denali RC switch that we are considering. So if you said initial memory value A, right, this means that all the instances of your simulation will take the value A, right? Now let's assume all your instantiated instances are as below, testbench.ddr30, testbench.ddr31, testbench.ddr4, and top.lpddr4. So now, let's assume you want to change this either based on the model or based on the instance. Then this can be done with two uh, parameters. One is dash model, and one is called dash instance. So let's see. Uh, if I said initial memory value A, now let's assume I change this to F, okay, and I say dash model, and I can say DDR3. What would this mean? This means that I'm changing my initial memory value to F for model DDR3, right? Similarly, I could say model DDR, I could say DDR4, okay? So this means now it's going to change the value to, let's say, zero, for DDR4. Similarly, if you want a specific instance, then I could say 1, where I'm changing the initial memory value 1, dash instance to test bench dot DDR3 underscore 0. So this means the specific instance now takes the initial memory value as 1, right? Similarly, you could say uh, instance. If I said test bench dot star, what would happen? It would take the initial memory value, let's say uh, A again, for all the instances which are testbench dot star, which would mean testbench dot DDR3, 0, 1, and DDR4. All these, all these instances will now take the value uh, A, okay? S similarly, you can use initial memory value now with both coupled together. Here I'm saying, F again. So initial memory value now becomes F for model DDR3 and also instance top star, which would mean that LPDDR4 and DDR3. The instance LPDDR4 and the model DDR3 now have the initial me memory value as F. So you could use a combination of uh, model and instance together like we have shown here. Uh, let's assume you want to undefine the initial memory value whatever you've previously set in your simulation, that could just be done by saying undefined initial memory value in your, uh, in, your, in your test bench. All these initial global switches can be set on the fly, okay? In the syntax in Verilog would look like success equal to mm tickle eval, mm set were initial memory value to whatever value you need to, let's say one. So this can be set on the fly, and you can keep changing the value uh, at every instance. Please note, this could be extended not only to memory models, but also the other VIPs. Thanks for watching this video. Please uh, check with us on this space again next week.